Hello friends, under this part of school fees management system, we will start, student standard management module. And in this part, we will learn, how to display dynamic, student standard data, in jQuery data tables. With server side processing of data, by using PHP script, with MySQL database. In this tutorial, we will use jQuery data tables, with feature like searching, pagination and many other features. Now let's start discussing this part, so this is student standard table, in which we will store, school student standard data. And in this table, we have table column like, student standard ID, student ID, academic year ID, academic standard ID, student standard status, student standard added on, and student standard updated on table column. So we will store, school student standard data, under this table, and we will fetch data from this table, and display under, jQuery data table. Now we have go to working folder, and here first we want to add, student standard page link, under admin area. So for this, we have to open header.php file, and under this file, here we have create, one an anchor tag. And here we have to write, class attribute is equal to, navigation link. And in href attribute is equal to, student standard dot, php file, and in anchor text. We have to write, student standard, so by click on this link, admin can access student standard data. Now here in the browser, first we have to refresh, this web page, and after this. Here we can see that, student standard link has been appear, at left side of menu. So admin can access, student standard management module, by click on this link. Now we want to proceed, for load student standard data, in jQuery data tables. So we have go to, student standard.php file, and under this file, first we want to include, database connection file. So here we have to write, include statement with, database connection.php file. After this, we want to set condition like, this page must be accessed by admin only after login into system, so here we have to write. If statement, and under condition, we have to write, not operator with is login function. So this function will check, requested user is login or not, if user is not login into system, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, header function, with location set to login.php file. So it will redirect, web page to login.php file, and after this, we want to check, login user is admin or not. This is because, only admin can access this web page, so for this, here we have to write. If statement, and under condition, we have to write, not operator, with is master user function. So this function will check that, login user is master user or not, if login user is not master user, then it will execute, if block of code. And here, we have to write, header function, with location set to index.php file, so it will redirect, to index page. Next we want to include header.php file, so here we have to write, include statement, with header.php file. And same way, we want to include footer.php file, so for this, here we have to write, include statement, with footer.php file. After this, here we have paste this HTML code, which will make blank student standard management page, so now we have to check, output in the browser. So here, we have click on student standard link, and here we can see that, blank page has been load, in the browser. That means, here our student standard management template is ready, now we want to load student standard data, under jQuery data tables. So for this, here we have to create, one HTML table, with id attribute is equal to, student standard data. And under this table, we have to create, one table head tag, and between this tag, we have to create, one table row tag. And under this tag, we have to create, four table header tag, with text like, student number, student name, academic year, standard, status and action.
Now for load data, in jQuery data table, so for this we have go to jQuery code part, and here. We have to write, data table variable is equal to, dollar with table id student standard data. With data table method, so this method will initialize, jQuery data table plugin. And under this method, first we have to write, first option processing, which has been set to true. So this option will enable, the display of a processing indicator, when the table data has been processed. In second option, we have to write, server side option, which has been set to true. So this option will switch, client side processing to, server side processing of data. In third option, we have to write order option, which has been set to blank array, so this option will enable, table column ordering. Lastly, we have to write Ajax option, and by using this option, we can send, Ajax request to server. Now under this first, we have to write, first option URL set to action.php, so here it will send, Ajax request to this page. In second option, we have to write type, which has been set to post method, so here it will use, post method for send data to server. And in third option, we have to write, data and in value, we have to write, action variable, with value fetch student standard, so this data will be sent, with Ajax request. So here our jQuery code is ready, now we have goes to action.php file. And here we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write. Dollar post action variable value is equal to fetch student standard, so if this condition true, then it will execute, if block of code, and under this block. We have to write, dollar query variable is equal to, select query like, select star from student standard table. After this, we have to write, in a join with student table. With condition like student table dot student id is equal to, student standard table dot student id table column. After this we have to write, in a join, with academic year table, with condition like. Academic year table dot academic year id table column value is equal to, student standard table dot academic year id table column value. Next, we have to write, in a join academic standard table, with condition like. Academic standard table dot academic standard id table column value is equal to, student standard table dot academic standard id table column value. After this, we have to write, if statement, and under condition, we have to write, is set function. And under this function, we have to write, dollar post search value variable, so if this variable value is set, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this block, we have to write, dollar query variable, and under this variable, we have append query like. Where student table dot student number like percentage, with dollar post search value variable with percentage sign. And this same query, we have to write, for other table column like, student table, student name column. Academic year table, academic start year column, academic year, academic start month column. Academic year table, academic end year table column, academic year table, academic end month table column. Academic standard table, academic standard name table column, and academic standard table, academic standard division table column. So this code will search data, under multiple table with different table column value. So after defining search condition, now we have to write, if statement, and in condition, we have to write is set function, and under this function, we have to write, dollar post order variable. So this condition will check, if this variable value has been set, then it will execute, this if block of code, otherwise it will execute else block. Suppose dollar post order variable value is set, then it will execute, if block of code. And under this, we have to write, dollar query variable, and in this variable, we have append query like. Order by dollar columns variable with dollar post order zero column variable and dollar post order zero direction variable. But suppose dollar post order variable value is not set, then it will execute else block of code and under this block. We have to write dollar query variable and in this variable we have to append query like order by student standard ID table column in descending order. 
Now we have to define dollar $query1 variable is equal to blank value, and in this variable, we will store query with fetch limit data condition. Now below this, we have to write if statement, and under condition, we have to write dollar $post length variable value is not equal to minus 1. So this condition will check, if dollar $post length variable value is not equal to minus 1, then it will execute if block of code. So under this block, we have to write dollar $query1 variable is equal to limit dollar $post start variable comma dollar $post length variable. Here this both variable value has been sent by jQuery data tables plugin with the Ajax request. Here we have store, select query in two different variable, so here from dollar $query variable, we will get number of filter data. And from combination of both query, we will make complete query for fetch data from multiple table. First we want to execute only dollar $query variable query, so we can get number of filter records. So for this here, we have to write dollar statement variable is equal to dollar connect variable with prepare method. And under this method, we have to write dollar query variable, so it will make query for execution. Then after, we want to execute this query, so here we have to write dollar statement variable with execute method, so it will execute dollar query variable query. Now we want to get number of filter data, so for this here, we have to write dollar filtered row variable is equal to dollar statement variable with row count method, so this method will return number of row affected after query execution. Now we want to execute complete query, so here we have to write dollar result variable is equal to dollar connect variable with query method. And under this method, we have to write dollar $query variable dot dollar $query one variable. So here, we have merged both query. And this query method will execute above combined query and return query execution result, which has been stored under this dollar result variable. Now we have to write dollar data variable is equal to blank array. And under this variable, we will store dollar result variable data one by one. Now below this, we have to write, for each loop, and under condition, we have to write. Dollar result variable is dollar row variable, and by using this loop, we can fetch, data from dollar result variable. Now under this for each loop, first we have to create, one dollar subarray variable is equal to, blank array. Below this, we have create, dollar status variable, with blank value, and under this variable, we will statch a data. Now we have to write if statement and under condition we have to write dollar row student standard status variable value is equal to enable. If this condition true then it will execute if block of code and under this block we have to write dollar status variable is equal to enable. But suppose above condition false, then it will execute else block of code, and here we have to write, dollar status variable value is equal to disable. First we want to display, student number details in the first table column. So here, we have to write, dollar subarray variable is equal to, dollar row student number variable. In second table column, we want to display student name details, so here we have to write. Dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row student name variable. In third table column, we want to display student academic year data. So here we have to write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row academic year variable and dollar row academic start month variable. and dollar row academic end year variable and dollar row academic end month variable so it will display academic year data on the web page after this we want to display school standard name with division name details so here we have to write dollar subarray variable is equal to dollar row academic standard name variable dash dollar row academic standard division variable
Next we want to display academic standard status data. So here we have to write dollar sub array variable is equal to dollar status variable. And in last table column, we will make edit and disable and enable button for student standard data, but we will make these button in upcoming tutorial. So for this, here we have to write dollar sub array variable is equal to blank value. So here, we have store all required student standard data in dollar sub array variable, but here now we have to write dollar data variable is equal to dollar sub array variable so here we have stored all sub array variable data into this dollar data variable now we want to get total number of rows from student standard table so here we have to make get total student standard records function with dollar connect variable as argument so this function will return total number of rows from student standard table now under this function, we have to write, dollar $Query variable is equal to, select star from student standard table. And below this, we have to write, dollar $Statement variable is equal to, dollar $Connect variable with prepare method. And under this method, we have to write, dollar $Query variable, so it will make query, for execution. And now for execute query, so here, we have to write, dollar statement variable with execute method, so this method will execute this query. Lastly, we have to write, return statement with, dollar statement variable with row count method, so this method will return, number of rows, from student standard table. Now here, we have to write, dollar output variable is equal to an array. And in array first key, we have to write, draw, and in value, we have to write, dollar post draw variable. In second key, we have to write records total, and in value, we have to write, get total student standard records function, with dollar connect variable as argument. In third key, we have to write, records filtered, and in value, we have to write, dollar filtered row variable, in which we have store, number of filter rows data. And in last key, we have to write data, and in value, we have to write, dollar data variable, in which, we have store student standard table data, in an array format. So this way, we have store, all required data, in dollar output variable, for load student standard data, in data table. Now we want to send, this data to Ajax request, in JSON format, so here, we have to write, echo statement with JSON encode function. And under this function, we have to write, dollar output variable. So this function will convert, this data into JSON string. So here, our code is ready for load data, in jQuery data table plugin, with server side processing of data, so now we want to check, output in browser. Friends, here first we have to refresh web page, and here we can see that, student standard data, has been load from multiple table, under this jQuery data table plugin. And here we can do, searching data in multiple table, and here we can see that, pagination link is also automatic made, without writing of any line of code. And here, we can also do sorting of data, without refresh of web page. So here, under this part, we have learned, how to fetch data from multiple MySQL table, and load in jQuery data tables, by using PHP script. In next part, we will learn, how to add new, student standard data, under the school fees management system, by using PHP script. So we will be meet in next part, and lastly thank you for watching this video, and do not forget to subscribe our channel.